There is far more than meets the eye to the universe of the Elder Scrolls. In Tamriel, where gods and deities meddle with the affairs of mortals and ancient magic shapes the culture, there are plenty of moments in the games that warrant a what the fuck reaction. In this video, we're going to reminisce about five of the best what the fuck moments in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. First on our list is a moment that really emphasizes the freedom in Skyrim to use whatever weapon you like. When you go around the world looting valuables or buying items to sell for a higher price later, you may find yourself acquiring some cutlery while adventuring on the slopes of the throat of the world. This all seems pretty standard, I guess, and that is until you head to your inventory to switch from your Daedric Sword to your Dragonbone Sword and you notice that the knife and fork are available as equippable weapons. Unsurprisingly, these weapons don't have the most boastworthy base damage stats, and when you come at one of the province's many dangerous enemies, the only real chance you have of coming out on top is that they're so confused by the stupidity that they forget to attack back. For a whopping total of 3 damage when dual wielding, get ready to spend all night cutting through supper. Next on the list is not only one of the most what the fuck moments Skyrim has to offer, but also one of the most memorable quest objectives in the entire game. One moment you're sinking a few frothy ales with a jolly jaunty Sam Gorven, and then the next thing you know it's the morning, you have a blistering headache, and you've done some questionable things only to forget completely what they were. While this is amusing enough as you clean the temple of Debella and talk to a man about a goat, alarm bells start to go off pretty soon when you realize what you've done. Your beer goggles have landed you in the middle of a betrothal, and she's not nearly as pretty as you thought she was in the twilight hours of the night before, so you head to Witchmist Grove to your bride-to-be's house to pick up the ring and explain the misunderstanding, only the shack is surrounded by sharp wooden stakes and a plethora of skewered goat heads. This is when you discover that the woman you were sworn to wed is not some buxom honey-haired Nord, but in fact a gaunt and gangly hag raven. Suddenly the thought of consummating that marriage is far less pleasant. The province of Skyrim is a sprawl of expansive green fields and treacherous icy mountain paths, and it's the perfect landscape to traverse atop your trusty steed, so you head to the nearest stables to find yourself a horse befitting a dragonborn. Our third what the fuck moment comes when you find yourself either in a rush or simply impatient, and your quest marker is at the top of a steep mountain slope. Skyrim may be veined with conveniently mapped and trodden tracks, but the dragonborn ain't got time for that. The dragonborn travels directly to his target as the crow flies. Well, it's at this moment that you discover your horse's impossible talent for defying physics and climbing effortlessly up cliff sides. There's no scientific or law-based explanation for this feat. Maybe the horses in Skyrim are crossbred with mountain goats, or perhaps the horses spend all of their free time in the gym training their calves. Either way, as you sit horizontally in the saddle galloping skyward, it's hard not to laugh. Our next what the fuck moment comes from an encounter with an interesting character, one you truly wouldn't expect to see given in the context. As you venture through Skyrim, you're bound to hear rumors of the ominous and malevolent force that is the Dark Brotherhood. These edgy assassins terrify the masses and worship dark deities, taking no trouble from killing anyone they're tasked with killing. So understandably, when you go through the grueling and creepy process of joining this dark cult, after witnessing a black sacrament and being kidnapped, the last thing you expect to see in the Dark Brotherhood sanctuary is a 10-year-old child. This child is Babette. She's a member of the Dark Brotherhood and she's a vampire. Once the what the fuck moment has passed, you realize that she is in fact over 300 years old. She even boasts that her innocent appearance makes killing considerably easier, so this is one little girl you probably shouldn't cross unless that cross is sharpened and lodged in her heart. Finally, our fifth and final what the fuck moment is the one that hits you in the middle of battle. When you make your way from the small town of Riverwood to Whiterun, you most likely would have stumbled across a giant terrorizing the local farm. That's when you know shit is more than capable of hitting the fan in Skyrim. The giants are slightly more imposing than your average wolf or mud crab, but you're the dragonborn, so this fool with size 19 feet is nothing to worry about. Only that's where you're wrong. Suddenly, the giant's gargantuan club catches you in a swing that Tiger Woods himself would be proud of, and you're sent shooting out of the atmosphere and into orbit. And then, after a long ascent and a crushing descent, you'll be pondering what the fuck just happened, and you'll reload your last save file. And there you have it guys, subscribe to Fudge Muppet for more fresh and original Elder Scrolls content like this, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments about your best what the fuck moments while playing Skyrim, and follow us on Twitter to keep up with us and interact with us directly. Links to our accounts can be found just below in the description. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Scott, and I'll see you in the next one.